What's going on, everybody? <clears throat> Drones and dogs here. And, uh, bow, bow. I'm here with the Propel Batwing, man. Man, look at this thing, man. Tell me this thing don't look dope. Don't this thing look cool? Look at this. This is the Batwing by Propel. This thing has been out for a few years now, man. And I actually saw this on Freak with Flyers channel. Shout out to my boy Freak, man. I saw this on your channel, man. I decided to pick one of these guys up, and I was really excited because it was really inexpensive. It was only like 27 bucks. Looks like a really cool looking flyer. Looks like the Batwing. Real dope looking little flyer, man. And uh, yeah, picked it up on Amazon for like 27 bucks. Real cool looking little drone. So we gonna uh, go over what comes in the box really quickly. And uh, we'll take this guy for a quick indoor flight. This one also has a camera on board. A little pinhole camera, if you can see it right there. A little nice little camera. I did put a 16 gigabyte SD card in there, underneath there. This is a little just line of sight flyer, but it did not come with the SD card. So you gotta have your own micro SD card when you're ready to fly this guy. But check this out, man. I think it's really unique. If you look at it, <clears throat> you, look, you see the props are underneath. The props are underneath this guy. So you usually typically on a quad, you got the props above the quad. With this one, the props are underneath and it just sits on the props like that. That's kind of unique, man. I've never really seen a drone <clears throat> do that or set up like that. So it has the prop guards underneath right there. I got the SD card in there. I don't have the battery in there yet. It's a proprietary style battery. And this is the altitude hold version. The non-camera version has not altitude hold. And they're, they're the direct driven props on the bottom. You do have to put the props on and they do get, give you two full set of props for this guy. So I did put one set on and I have an extra set here just in case you would lose any just because this guy will <clears throat> seem like it's upset. it will be easy to lose prop because the way they're downward facing but they do give you a prop guard <clears throat> excuse me they do give you a prop guard and it, you put it in there like so but I'm not going to be flying with the prop guard you put it in there and the prop guard kind of just rests on the top of this guy, so that probably will help you save the props. Oh, it's like this, I'm sorry. I put it the wrong way. You put it in like this. You just test the prop guards underneath and it kind of sits on top of the prop guards <clears throat> and it might save you and help you with some landing, but I'm not gonna be using a prop guard for this, but you can use it if you want. Here's a little transmitter and it looks really nice. Feels really nice. Has little metal grips and they also give you an extra set of like rubber like thumb thumb grips if you want to use the rubber thumb grip i'm gonna stick with the metal ones and they are like raised up a little bit so you can pinch with this guy if you are a pinch flyer you can't pinch really well and still have enough room and then they give you some extenders that slide on the bottom of the transmitter to make this transmitter feel a little bit larger and you can hold it like this with these little extenders i did not put them on though but you can i'll probably put them on later i just wanted to get into a quick flight with this guy Man, this thing is really dope, man. 27 bucks, and I think the non-camera version is 23 bucks. I might pick that up as well, I might. But look at it, man, the fat wing looks cool. When you're flying it out, we're definitely gonna get into an outdoor flight with it later. See how it looks in the sky, and I bet it looks like the back symbol when it's in the air. It's pretty dope. But you got three channel mode, and then you got four channel mode. Three channel basically takes away the, uh, the roll of it you know what i'm saying it'll be like a three channel helicopter to where when you're trying to roll it won't roll it'll just turn you know what i'm saying it won't really it it, it, it won't like roll like that it just move to the to the left move to the right stuff stuff like that and then this would just be your elevator but uh here's your throttle stick and as you, as you can see self-centering so that's altitude hold you got your power switch in the middle then you got your trim buttons all around the power switch forward back left right so pretty simple. Everything is labeled with this guy. You got speed, you got start and landing is what it says. So that's uh, automatic takeoff, automatic land. You got a calibrating button button in the middle. You have a camera button right here. And I haven't really read the instructions, but I'm guessing long press for video, short press for a photo. You have a stunt button. You know, press that and then give this an input and the guy should flip. And uh, two AA batteries in the back, which I already put in there for this review so check this guy out man it looks pretty cool man i like the way it looks man the props should disappear or look like they disappear when they get to spinning 
And uh, they do give you an extra set. They do give you a little Phillips screwdriver to get into the transmitter, put your batteries in there. They do give you a micro SD card reader, but just no micro SD card. So you have to provide your own micro SD card. Um, here's your battery, it's proprietary. I'm not sure the size of it. I didn't look. It looks like about a 500 milliamp per hour battery, just from guessing, but it is proprietary. And there is no on and off switch on this guy. So when you slide this guy in, the quad will turn on. So I'm not gonna slide it in yet until we're ready for flight. Here is your charger. It does have a, a LED indicator that will flash red while charging, then turn green with fully charged. You need to stick this guy in here. Oops, wrong way. It clips in. And you put. They give you a micro USB charger or cord, micro USB cord to full USB. You plug this guy into this, like so. Then you plug this into a wall charger, and this guy click this all the way in, and the guy will begin charging. Really simple setup that they give you all that. I don't know if I pointed to this. This is the micro SD card slot, but you got to provide your own. It says it goes up to a 32 gigabyte. So I'm really excited about this, man. This is Propel. This is, I got that Propel Maximum, that little mini quad, and that little thing flies great. So I'm really hopeful about this. So let's go ahead and see if we can get into a fight with this. I'm going to set this guy down. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Your boy Drones and Dogs. Get all this little stuff out the way. Let's go for a flight, man, with this propel bat wing. You know what I'm saying? This is this looks look dope. Let's get into it, man. Just clicking it in, it's on. Go ahead and make sure that's secure. Turn on the transmitter. Look at the transmitter. Up, down, binds it. Alright. So we should be bound. Now I'm not sure about the camera. Let me go ahead and just uh you know uh long press. I long pressed it, so hopefully we should be recording. Hopefully, I did. Uh, I did format the SD card before I put it in there. Hopefully, we should be recording. Let's hit this start land button. Ooh, really took off. So this is my first rate. I'm guessing. It says number one by the speed. This is our first rate. Nice man. Look at the altitude hold. Nice. Very slow yaw. Very slow yaw on it. Should have the camera going. I think it's going because I see a light light blinking. But yeah. Very slow yaw on it in its first rate. Side to side throws. Not much angle on it. You give me the side to side, full side to side commands. There's not much angle on it at all in this first rate. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and click into a second rate. Yep. And it even says number two on a transmitter. That's pretty cool, man. So now we're in a second rate. Should have a little bit more control of it. Let's try the side to side aileron. Okay. A little bit more pitch. Just a little bit more. Side to side throws. Look at that. Nice. Back, forward, back. Climbed a little bit on me. Outer two hold is working though. Look at that. You don't have to mess with the throttle as much. It's working. It's got a little bit of drift on it. You know. But let's check out the yaw rate on it. Okay, the yaw rate does pick up in the second rate. Look at that. Does pick up. So that is nice. Try to flip before we deplete that battery. Let's try to flip. Ooh, does flip, but it lost a little altitude a little bit. Does flip though. Let's try one more flip. I don't really like doing the flips indoors, but it does flip. Hopefully you caught that. We'll do, we'll do one more. Yeah, so it does flip. Nice. Go ahead and uh, I think I am recording. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording. So. We saved something. Hopefully I stopped it. I think I stopped it. I don't know if we could take some photos. 
I'm just clicking the camera button. Hopefully that's taking photos. I'm not sure if it's taking photos. Hopefully. Uh, I took a couple photos, I think. <laughs> I think. So anywho. Still in the second rate. Still in the second rate. Let's go to the third rate. So now we're in the third rate now. So let's do side to side aileron. A little bit more control over it. Look at that, a lot more pitch in the third rate, higher rate. Look at that. Side to side throws. Back, four pitch, back. It does climb a little bit, start to climb. Let's check out the yaw on it. Not too much faster than the second rate, but it's a little faster. Does look cool though, man. Look at that. The back wing. Look at that. Look. Does look pretty dope, man. Your boy Joe the dog is gonna cop them a bat wing, man. Look at that. <laughs> it's pretty sleek, the bat wing, man. I can really feel the, the, the wind pressure coming off some props, too. So, yeah. So, we just third rate flying, man. We're just gonna see. We're just gonna fly it until. We get some LVC on this guy. Got a pretty decent flight time though for a little guy. When you start giving it a pitch, it does want to climb a little bit. We're still in the third rate. Nice little flyer, man. Definitely, this is. This little thing is dope. 27 bucks, man. Not really too concerned about the camera. I just thought it was a bonus. I didn't even really know it had a camera when I ordered it, but I just seen that it, when I opened it up, I'm like, oh, snap. They got a camera. Then I seen there was a non-camera version. Oh, man, yeah. Nice LEDs underneath. Starting to flash. Look at that. We got red LEDs in the back, white in the front. And they are flashing. Let's hit this land button. See what it does. Hopefully we don't kill nothing. <laughs> ah. Landed pretty smooth, man. Even right on the props. And the props cut off right away as soon as it contacted with the ground. That's the propel bat wing, man. That thing is pretty dope. I like that. I like that a lot. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You rocking with your boy Drones and Dogs. Thanks for watching.